Let us continue the topic adjectives used as nouns. Third point. Some adjectives actually become nouns and used in both numbers. That is in singular number as well as in plural number. Now for that examples I have given here. Uh, what happened? They, those kind of nouns, they are derived from proper nouns. Like Italians, Canadians, Indians. So it is taken from the proper noun. Example. Then again, some de denoting persons. Example, juniors, mortals, superiors, elders, criminals, minors, etc. They also are derived from the uh, both numbers. It can be used. And again, next is a few denoting things generally like secrets, solids, liquids, valuables, etc. And I have given especially in bracket that is some adjectives are used as nouns only in plural. For example, sweets, eatables, valuables, bitters. Like these are used, these nouns are used only as plural, not as singular. And the next is, in certain phrases, you know what is phrase? Phrase is a group of words which make incomplete sense. I have already taught you about it. So here the phrase is used, in general I spoke to all, which is a phrase in general. I shall see you before long. Which is the phrase? Before long. And again, I must know your terms in black and white. So here the phrase is in black and white. In short, we know nothing. So here what happened? In short is the phrase. So in certain phrase, in this way it is used. So nouns in English, nouns are used as adjectives very common. As for example, you see, I met a little cottage girl. Now you see here, I met a little cottage girl. The cottage is a adjective. And next you see, the king lives in a marble palace. Now here what happened? Marble Palace. Marble is the adjective. A single adjective here what happened? The position of the adjectives also you need to know. So just one point for that I would like to tell you. That is a single adjective used attributively. Attributively that is a quality. Mentioning the quality. Attributively in gen is generally placed immediately before the noun. For example, I have given here, where are you going my pretty girl? Girl is a noun, just before noun, pretty girl with golden hair. Hair is a noun and golden, golden is the adjective. Therefore, once again I am reading this sentence, where are you going my pretty girl with golden hair? It's a question, so I have given you question mark. Whenever we write question, we need to give question mark. Then here you see, uh, oh captain, my captain, our fearful trip is done. Here you see, oh captain, my captain, that is exclamatory, uh, exclamatory, therefore exclamatory sign is given. Therefore you remember, any time when we write question or exclamation, we need to give the correct symbol to those. Now again some difference I have given here. Observe this difference in meaning. You see here a great scholar's son. Now what happened? Who is considered as great? Great scholar's son. The scholar stands as great. Next example you see a scholar's great son. Here who stands? Son stands. The scholar's great son. Great is the Adjective. So what happened here? Sun is a noun. Great is adjective. 
So here great stands as. So you need to know the difference between. So I have written this for making you know the difference. So with this I conclude the usage of nouns. Again a little more there to continue. That will be done in my next class. Thank you and have a very good day.